Hello third grade, today we're going to look at chapter 2 of the solar system unit and the title is called The Vastness of Space. And in chapter 2 the big question is what is the universe and what are galaxies? Definition for the word galaxy, a collection of stars and their solar systems, dust and gas. Every star may have its own solar system. Our solar system, plus millions of others, form a such larger system called a galaxy. Galaxies are collections of dust, gas, stars, and their orbiting objects. One galaxy may have hundreds of billions of stars, and there may be as many as 100 billion galaxies in all of space, which is incredible. Let me read that again. So one galaxy may have hundreds of billions of stars, and there may be as many as 100 billion galaxies in all of space. Incredible. How do you know about objects in space? I'm sorry, how do we know about objects in space? Scientists and engineers have developed telescopes and spacecrafts that explore deep space. For example, in 1977, last, NASA launched the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecrafts to travel past the edge of our solar system and collect data along the journey. Together they continue to explore beyond the edge of our solar system, sending information back to Earth. Here it says, the Voyager probes took pictures of planets as they passed them and sent the pictures back to Earth via radio signals. Our solar system is part of the Milky Way Milky Way Galaxy. Our solar system is part of a galaxy known as the Milky Way. The Milky Way is a large spiral shaped galaxy that likely contains billions of other solar systems. Our solar system is located on one of the Milky Way's outer arms. All of the stars that you see in the night sky are part of the Milky Way. Just as objects orbit the Sun, our solar system revolves around the center of the Milky Way galaxy. No person or spacecraft has ever traveled outside of the Milky Way galaxy. To look back and take a picture of it, scientists have pieced together clues from the telescope images and other data to determine the Milky Way's shape and what, is it, what it is made of. Galaxies are part of the universe. Objects in space move and interact as a system. Scientists study systems and their parts to better understand and explain what they are made of and how they work. The sun, earth, and other planets are part of the solar system. Our solar system is part of the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way galaxy is one galaxy in a very vast universe. The universe contains everything in space, including all forms of matter and energy. So the vocabulary word universe, all of the existing matter and energy in space. Over the years, scientists have collected data about the universe. They estimate that it is approximately 13.77 billion years old. Or you could read it as, when you think about in fourth grade, you'll start to read decimals. And if you were to see this number, you would read it as 13 and 77 hundredths billion years ago. When it's tied together with a billion years ago, it doesn't look like that. But if it was just that part, it would be 13 and 77 hundredths. It may have begun as a very small ball of hot, dense matter that suddenly exploded. It continues to spread out. How do scientists know this? By observing that galaxies are getting farther apart. This image is from the Hubble Space Telescope captured approximately 15,000 of the galaxies in the universe. People use technology to explore space. Scientists have been using technology to observe, measure, and explore space for many years now. Over time, people have developed many tools for space exploration, including rovers, probes, satellites, and telescopes. 
Humans control these instruments from Earth. Rovers. A rover is a probe that can travel after it has landed. It's a robotic vehicle remotely controlled to study the surface of a planet or moon. Rovers gather samples and collect data. They send information back to scientists on Earth. A rover named Curiosity landed on Mars in 2012. One of its purposes is to help scientists determine whether Mars might host tiny life forms called microbes. Curiosity analyzes soil in rock samples. Two earlier rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, landed on Mars in 2004. They were intended to operate for about three months, but Spirit continued to collect data for 10 years and Opportunity operated for 14 years. They found evidence that Mars used to have watery surface and a warmer climate. So this might suspect they had life on Mars. Probe is a kind of spacecraft that is launched from Earth on a rocket and sends information back to Earth via satellite radio signals. Some probes land on other planets or moons and send back data from their landing site. Other probes collect data about the objects they are studying as they fly by without landing. The Voyager probes have traveled and are still traveling farther than any other spacecraft. A satellite is either a net is either a natural or human made object that orbits around another object. Human made satellites are launched from Earth on rockets and guided into orbit around the objects they are sent to study. Satellites gather data, including photos, and transmit them back to Earth. Satellites take photos of planets, asteroids, and other objects in the universe. They help scientists study parts of the universe that are difficult to explore. Hmm. Incredible. Telescopes are instruments that show far away objects in greater detail. Telescopes may consist of lenses and mirrors that focus light to magnify images, or they may collect radio waves from distant objects and use them to construct pictures of objects. The Hubble Space Telescope was launched into space in 1990, so when I was five years old. Hubble collects light. It has revealed the formation of stars and images of great, great distant galaxies. And this is from John Glenn climbs into Friendship 7 spacecraft. So humans explore space. Probes, rovers, satellites, and telescopes are spacecrafts that travel without humans on board. But there have also been spacecraft that have taken human crews into space. Women and men from many different nations have orbited Earth, and some even visited the moon. On May 5, 1961, Alan Shepard became the first American to travel to space. He flew aboard the Freedom 7 spacecraft, and the flight lasted about 15 minutes. This mission gave scientists valuable information about how the human body behaves during space travel. It also helped them identify and fix problems with spacecraft equipment and procedures. Words to know, a crew is a person or group of people who carry out duties aboard a vessel. Uncrewed spacecraft do not carry people. Crewed missions have people aboard. Just a few months later, John Glenn became the first American to completely orbit the Earth. He circled the Earth three times and in just under five hours inside an aircraft known as Friendship 7. Humans first landed on the moon on July 20th, 1969, during the Apollo 11 mission. mission. American astronaut Edwin Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong landed their lunar module, the Eagle, on the moon's surface in an area known as the Sea of Tranquility. They spent two hours on the moon. During this time, they collected rock and soil samples. 
They conducted experiments to learn more about the moon's environment. Space Station. Did you know that there's a place in space where humans can live for days, weeks, and even months? The International Space Station, also abbreviated as ISS, is, moving, is a moving laboratory in space. It orbits Earth once every 90 minutes. Scientists from around the world arrive at the ISS via spacecraft. Then they live there for a while and they conduct experiments in physical science, earth science, and biology. If you go outside on a clear night, you may be able to see the ISS as it travels across the sky. Humans may travel to Mars and beyond. So far, humans have not traveled any farther from Earth than the moon, but scientists are working to develop ways to explore deeper parts of space with the goal of someday landing on Mars. One of the most important developments is the design of a new vehicle, such as the NASA's Orion spacecraft. Orion's first mission will be uncrewed, which means that no astronauts will be in there, and it will travel thousands of miles past the moon. This is farther than any spacecraft built for human space exploration has ever gone. Eventually, scientists are hoping that this spacecraft will take humans safely to Mars. Scientists also have plans to use another rover to explore a region of Mars that they think might have been able to support life at one time. Let's see the lights turned off. Oh well. The rover will drill and collect rock samples deep below the planet's Earth surface. Then it will store these samples for scientists to study at a later time. This rover will also help gather information that scientists can use when planning the first human spaceflight to the Red Planet. And that is the end of chapter two.